before we start in. Yes. Oh, today, today we have um, some Aboriginal tools and technology. Um, this one here is called a Coleman. Um, it's used to, women normally go out, they normally grab um, like berries and like stuff and put it in there. Or there's actually um, some big ones and actually put um, kangaroo skin in there and they put their babies in there and they actually carry that around. Um, that's the same one, but different. So they normally have it on a tree, like that one's off a tree, and they normally go up with the giant axe, yeah. and they just go like that and cut around it, and then they get it in there and they peel it off, and then that's how they do that. What about the coolant? Do they do the same thing with the coolant? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. That's the same. Yeah, no, I'm just looking for how deep that one is and how. Oh, yeah. That one's out of a bit of like a bit of wood. They've carved that one out. Yeah. Um, this one's a emu collar. Um, it's used for hunting when they want to get emu eggs. So like, there's about four people, and they're all spread out in like different bits, and then like four corners, and then the, and then the. Dad's the one that sits on the eggs, and he sits on them. And when he hears the sound, he gets up and he goes to the first one. And then when he's close to that, then the second person starts to confuse him. And then one person comes around with like a long branch, and he tries to get out the eggs because if he goes too close to it, and he's sent left there, the father and he doesn't go and sit back on it because he'll think he's in danger. Yeah. Um, these ones are clapping sticks. Um, choose for dance and Ceremony. ceremonies. Um, yeah, so it's a musical. And these, yeah. The same. So the same with different shapes? Same. <laughs> Boomerangs can be used for hunting, but the hunting ones are different. They actually, go up like that and they're actually sharpened on the end so when they throw it it hits the emu in the ankle and it snaps their ankles and then they go up and to it and that yeah um, She's for, um, for war. They normally have this and shield, or a spear and shield, and that's how they go to war in that. And then the stone axe is used for everything. The way they make these is they grab a bit of stick. They first they get their stone, and they can see how this one's sharpened, and they sharpen it on a rock, and then they use it to make a slice in the middle, and they bang it down. And I think they find, I think it's emu poo or kangaroo, and then they melt it, and they melt it around, and then they grab some weaving stuff to put around here so it keeps it in place and that. That's the stone axe. And then this is the didgeridoo. Um, females can't play it because um, they, the bad spirits and that, and then they can't have babies and that. So that's why women aren't allowed to touch it. Used for ceremonies, gatherings. Um, yeah. That's it. So have you got? Have anyone got any questions? Do you have a question? Yeah. I'm just curious. Uh, what uh, what type of wood are those thing, uh, things made of? Like? Um, do the didgeridoos, how they make them is they go up to a tree with a stone hatchet and they knock on it, like, you can see how that sounds hollow to that, and then they actually cut it down the bottom and then they put a rock through it to see if it's hollow enough, 
but I'm not sure what type of wood that's made out of. It can be made out of different like gum and all that. Are they all uh, like gum trees? They can be any type of tree. Yeah. How does it get hollow? Huh? How does it hollow out? Well, the termites come up and oh. they eat it out. And yeah. Spoke about the um, the Malu usage on the eggs. Yeah. What's that? Do we need it? Okay. Do you want to know more? Because the mum goes and gets the food. I think. Yeah, the mum goes and gets the food while the dad watches the eggs. But if the son gets on the emu eggs, the dad won't actually sit on it. He will go away and leave it. Got home when the, the eggs were gone. So, so they get a different place. But they don't take um, yeah. all of them, they right. only take one. Because one emu egg is equivalent to, I think it's six or twelve chicken eggs. Yeah. Because of all the protein and everything that's in them. Right. And they're actually pretty big size too. And I remember when I was teaching, oh, I can't remember what it would be something, but also it's the same with the indigenous people will go around and, and not take everything from a place. No, they like only take the what they need. They um, use everything. Yeah, don't they? They only take what they need because they need, like, later on more kangaroos and that's what I believe if you, like, they only take what they need. And I suppose it'd be the same with any, um, any other um, grasses or that they, that they don't go and clear it all out because then it can regenerate. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's even now what they're doing now is they're finally um, going and asking the the elders of the tribe where the bushfires have gone, okay? Because they will also go and um, fire stick farming. Have you heard of fire? Has anyone heard of fire stick farming? Yeah. Lane, do you know what it is, mate? It's like that community of people. Yeah. They like burn. You are. Yeah. And they go through. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. It is, yeah. 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 Remember the seasons chart we yeah. had on Monday? Oh, you make me. Yeah. Um, the speech that we still look at it, yeah. So it's the certain bush tucker and that that needs fire to regenerate. Yeah. So they use the fire stick farming as a way of regenerating. I think they call it a cool burn. They don't burn it very, very high. Any other questions on Lockie or for Tell us about the ochre, your painting. So yours is different to Lockie's and your face. Yeah, so the boys have this part, but the girls also have the dots on the top. So it's, so say for different dances, it shows what like gender you are. Uh, are non non indigenous and Aboriginal people allowed to put your paints or just for that's a protocol um, that's only for Aboriginal they're indigenous. allowed to put it on, I'm pretty sure, if they've been given permission and that and it needs to be respectful, like you can't do like other like inappropriate stuff with it and that. Europeans yeah. took us, taking us so long to understand that. Yeah. How did you get your knowledge? Um, through Josh, actually, Josh and Julie. Mm -hmm. Josh is the one that mostly taught me everything about the art and stuff. And then Julie. So he visits it. into the school, like. Yeah, he visits area. around into the schools, all around the Catholic diocese. Comes to schools. Um, yeah. What about you, mate? Who's Julie? Julie. 
Come on, Julie. So this is how knowledge gets passed on, you know, from yeah, the elders, elders, down. elders down to the young people. Mm. That's how your responsibility to both of you will be passed along to the next generation. Now we would call you emerging elders, yeah? Yeah. yeah. yeah.